Bye. Hello. Hey, well, whiskey vault thing. There's tape now. Yeah. So, uh, it was Someone be... mailed us something, but they weren't sure. But I got it. Oh, you found the edge. Well, sort of. I was gonna do the card thing that you showed. Oh my gosh, that really works so well. Yeah. <laughs> nice. This is shipping I cut tape. right through the cork. No. Shipping tape. Here you go, Alex. Sorry. That bona fide card. You know what we also discovered the bona fide card does? Hmm. Scrape off the residue of fireball out of the cabinet with flavored things in it. Why was well, there the fireball, fireball was sideways? It was doing a slow drip, Ooh. and it was so slow yeah. that it built up a mound of like. So there was a syrup, like a barrel syrup leak, and we just went to a card and went. Shink, and then we had to wash the card off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you just have to get a new one. Yeah. You have to retire it's number been one. Fireball contaminated. Yeah. Retire number one. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the whiskey vault. Hi. Uh, That's a cool cork. This by is the way. a gift I can't, from. I can't get cool over the screen. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is a gift from Titan Patrick. Larkin. Danny in the distance, do you hear that? Yes, I, distance for some reason is always to the left. Yes. I feel like there's, it should be from over here. There's more unexplored distance. Yeah. But Patrick's that way. Oh, okay. Screw Patrick. In the distance! Weird distillery, weird weird story. Mm -hmm. um, this is Old Elk. We've reviewed their stuff before, but we haven't done. This is a cask strength, town and country pick, supermarket liquor. Isn't that like a luxury brand car, like a Buick town and country? Town and country. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like it's the it's the minivan. Yeah, a town and country. Olds I think it's a maybe Oldsmobile or Chrysler something. Or I need McConaughey and his driver's seat yeah. rolling a booger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking about the ride. <laughs> So this, their it's story right, that they tell right, people, all right. <laughs> I mean, it's a true story. When I get in my town and country, it's all right, all right, all right. <laughs> There's a story that they tell. Are you ready? Sorry. Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Heard yeah. of that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is place so in there's Indiana. a dude yeah. named Greg Metz. Hmm? He's worked distilling for 30-something years. Okay. Right? And at the Seagram's MGP, yeah. then MGP, right? So they reached out to him when he was at MGP saying, we want you guys to create a custom mash bill for us. Okay. And so they did. Well, that mash bill is 51 corn, 45 wheat, 4% malted barley. Yeah. Sound familiar? That's the weeded yeah. bourbon you can buy from MGP. That's not custom at all. Well, what I don't know is, was that because when they started making it? We just unbarreled some weeded MGP yesterday. Yeah, we just unbarreled this exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. What I don't know is, From is that MVP. when they started making that weeded mash bill? Oh. Right? So wait. But they don't do anything at small scale, so they just blew the doors off of the production of that. Right. And it's like, well, here's your mash bill you requested. And now we're going to make it not we're special. We're also going to make it for everybody else. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. Man. So either that's the story, or the story is. That would be, a very, really that would be a very frustrating story if that was the case. Like, we want I, you to do the special thing. Cool, here's your special thing that I'm going yeah. to scale up infinitely to the whole world. Right. Right, and get way ahead of whatever I made for you in the market. Well, they eventually brought Greg Metz, that distiller, mm -hmm. to be their distiller at their distillery. Okay. Nice. So I don't, uh, this is Indiana mm -hmm. bourbon, weeded bourbon. That is a very, hmm. It's, it's, it's interesting because at this point in going through whiskeys, how often I feel like I can put my nose in something and, and tell whether or not it's a big brand release or yeah. something that's going to be a little bit more sp smaller scale, not est established, experimental, and even things that are done very well. Right. Right? Things that are winning like crazy awards, I can kind of get a sense of the size of the distillery pretty often based right. on the nose. Right. Yeah. It's usually well executed and classic. If right. those two things come together, it's like this it's is bigger, probably a big brand. Or a bigger production run. Yes. If it's, like MGP source. If it's well executed and really interesting, then it's not probably going to be a huge brand. No. It's probably going to be... But like, big enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And winning awards and it's got decent distribution. Hmm. Okay. 
on the nose. So we, I, I'm familiar with this one right now because we literally just dumped two barrels of this mm -hmm. mash bill yesterday from MGP. Yeah, yeah. And ours spent two years in Texas. Right. It has this huge mid palate note that's not in this one. But there's, this one has a little a, more the, of the tannin-y a, note. See, I'm, I'm not on the tannin yet. I'm, the first thing that hits me is the sweetness. Yeah. And it's a vanilla honey sweetness. Yeah, and then there's sort of a, a soft lemongrass note. Okay, all right. A little lemongrass there. Oh, I can see what you're doing. Yeah. Because it's kind of a little grainy grassy, but it's sort of a sweetened citrus version. Yeah. And then the then barrel... It's metallic. The barrel tannin. note, that it's like a little... It's kind of like um, on your bed, you got uh, the heavy blankets on top and then the sheets under, underneath. This is like a little sheet layer. A little sheet layer. Sheet, little yeah. sheet, sheet layer of the tannin. It's five years old. Maybe that's where it's coming from. It is a higher proof. It's at 58.35% uh, oh. alcohol. Oh, interesting. So this is going to be hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastes really good. Oh, it's great. It's got all of that really heavy Honey Nut Cheerio kind of direction. Mm -hmm with extra honey and extra molasses. Yeah. And then a little thread of toasted notes. Yeah, a slight. Like toasted uh, sourdough bread. Oh, and then the finish finally lands. Mm -hmm. the, the creamy vanilla shows up on the finish. Mm hmm Wow, oh, it's a beautiful finish. Palette, three times as good as the nose. Yeah, the nose isn't bad. Yeah. But running up to that creamy vanilla finish, yeah. um, there is like this little bit of a, a graham cracker quality to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's nice. Honey grams. Bite the head off the teddy bear. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's even that high proof. It's really kind of soft, you know? Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more of a kick in the face. Now, <clears throat> I am going to take issue with whoever's working on their website and their marketing. Because... Little, little, little toasty bread, too. They're, they're writing bad. things like this. Are you ready? Greg says, when they reached out to him at MGP, Old Elk said, we want you to make something smooth and easy. <laughs> it's It's... I think it achieved that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, this proof especially. Yeah. The, the sippability is very nice. Mm. The other thing that he says is, this, this whiskey builds our trailblazing ethos with a high wheat content. So it's a weeded bourbon. It's just called weeded bourbon, man. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I don't know if it's trailblazing, yeah. yeah. The future of weeded bourbon, one of the hottest whiskey styles, starts here. I mean, bourbon in general. Is one of the hottest was he so? Uh, <laughs> so that to me, that's some outsourced it's, it's, yeah, marketing like, copy like, from a right. third party well, that I, they hired to do their branding and well, website. Well, here's and, the thing, and here's way, where we may be on the skinny end of the branch. Mm -hmm. For people that are going to be oh, that's close, isn't this like is that close? For people that are going to be probably the target market for this. Yeah, I mean it's a high proof, but at the same time, um, very classic flavors. And if they're not deep into like the nerdy stuff and they're not familiar with kind of the contrivances of the write-ups on bottles, they're looking for a lot of what you just said. Yeah, yeah. I want smooth, smooth and like easy drinker, amazing and But flavor, not boring. Yeah. This hits all those marks. Mm -hmm. It's um it's annoying and cliche to us, but how it would strike the ear of the vast majority of humanity and where they're at with their whiskey experience. Uh, okay. Did you put water in oh, just yours? I didn't put it in yours yet. So uh I was going to see if it changed anything first. I'm not going to have you drink after me because I got a little bit of a, a allergy reaction going on and just in case. I think, I mean, it's really nice. I really like the nose. I love the taste. Um, I think my favorite part <clears throat> is actually that finish. How it lands in that really- The nose? There, no, the, the finish is- Oh, okay. Yeah. The a finish really of the nice, palate. Yes, a really okay. nice, creamy vanilla finish. Okay. The nose gets twice as good. Once with you a add. tiny dash of water. It turns into this really elaborate cinnamon toast How tiny? Because that was like a drop and a half. Uh, I don't know, maybe. There, that's probably. Yeah. Uh, like cinnamon toast crunch. And honey grams put together. It's good, man. And a cherry. It's good, man. It's good in my face, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now the nose catches up. Now, <laughs> uh, if you were just looking at this bottle design in a vacuum, mm -hmm. Meh. This well, well, the cork would be cool. The cork would be cool, but also I would get a little nervous because sometimes you'll have distillers put so much into the design of a bottle that the whiskey's crap. That the whiskey's crap. It's always depressing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I immediately get suspicious whenever I see a very interesting 
<laughs> element on the bottle, like a crazy fiddly bit or a cork that looks like an elk antler. Or, yeah, the rest of this looks pretty classic. I do like the shape of the glass, though. Mmm. Palette was better before. It was. So, no water, palette's perfect, nose is a little lacking. Yeah. Little water, nose comes alive. Yeah. Palette gets simple and sweet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was really nice. Gary Cooper, what I've learned from this channel is that there are far, far too many different brands and varieties <laughs> of whiskey. Yeah, yeah. That's a fair assessment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I once ran the math. I can't remember what it was. Like we had we had to cry uncle at some point. They were like, I thank you so much. We can't <laughs> yeah. keep taking if we, bottles. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> It would take over 200 years for us to empty this vault if we drank an ounce a day. If, if it was both of us, it would take about 100 and something years for us to finish all the whiskey in here if we only drank a shot a day. Every, like seven days a week? Yeah. <laughs> 100 years. There's worse lives. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, until we get to that section. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where this Texture. That's right there. And you just pointed the Oh, glyph. did I? Like you just nailed the glyph. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. I just sensed a disturbance in the whiskey forest. It's, yeah, it's right, right there. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we got Messenger. Okay. Uh, here's one of those episodes where I feel the need. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for what you do. I can't tell, I can't tell you how I appreciate my whiskey education. I know it can sometimes feel like work, but we appreciate you. Thank you. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, this is this is a big sacrifice on our part, Daniel. Yeah. It's freaking huge. Yeah, huge sacrifice. Uh, there I, are days where it feels like it, but it's not because we have to come in here and shoot. No, yeah. it's because of sometimes what we have to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Some days, like the glyph comes out, and you're like, Man, yeah. "This is a job." Well, and then, <laughs> and then also, and then days you get even a good MGP. It's like, all right. Yeah. That's well, fair. and then also there's days where, <clears throat> like, I really don't need to have any alcohol in my system for. The rest of the day, yeah. I just got meetings and interviews, and although I will uh, say, I've had some uh, <laughs> like post shoot conversations and interviews and negotiations. Right. And whatnot. I gotta, I gotta tell you, man. Me coming off of a shoot, yeah. Like my ability to negotiate and get what I want, it goes up. Oh yeah, <laughs> way more why. effective. Um, I don't know. I don't know, uh, huh. but no, it's, just, it's like, I, you know, it's, like I mean, the, what's the drunk kung fu? It's that? not even drunk. It's not even drunk. drunk. It's just like uh, you take the edge off. Um, the most wild, ridis ridiculous asks, mm. right, and concessions and things. Oh, okay. That, it's not. It's not appropriate. But the way that you know we're going on, and I'm Five, framing it. I'm framing it. Yeah. And they're laughing, and they're like, oh, "Okay, um, yeah, I'll tell you off the camera." But uh, one of the things <laughs> I negotiated. Um, <laughs> It was 800% better than, than their standard rate for anybody else. All right. Yeah. So Done. I should drink all the time is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, that's not a good... No, that's, that's not... not the, no, that, that doesn't was, track? That's not the takeaway. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Old Elk good? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I like it. It's good. I liked it. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.